All right, gonna do a part six to my video series going through what I think are the best and also my personal favorite cartoons of the false prophet Muhammad, the prophet of Baal that he was, who started this uh, idolatrous, moon-worshipping, Arabic pagan religion of Islam. So, and by the way, too, if you want scriptural justification for this, 1 Kings 18, verses 25 down to verse 27, Elijah mocked the prophets of Baal. And Muhammad was a, a more recent example in the past, you know, two, two, uh, two millenniums, sorry, of a prophet of Baal. So I'm just doing what Elijah did, mocking the prophets of Baal. But here's the first cartoon. And by the way, too, I've said this before, not saying this is endorsed. This is not an endorsement of the artist per se. This is just the cartoons itself that is being, you know, the message being shown in the cartoons. That is what I'm, I'm talking about. So, but here's the first cartoon. It's called, it says, Atomic Muhammad. Because that's exactly what it was, really, when you get down to it. And I find it interesting how it's coming out of his head, too, because obviously Muhammad, uh, in his devil-filled mind, because he was seriously possessed by devils, uh, that was what he wanted to do. You know, murder, kill, slaughter. Uh, he was a, a rapist, a, a, a pedophile, all this other stuff. Yeah, he was a genocidal false prophet. He was a murdering pedophile who uh, did all kinds of weird stuff, you know, slept with, his, slept with his dead wife, had a child bride and all this other stuff. Yeah, and he was a murdering pedophile who started this modern day form of Baal worship known as Islam. Very accurate thing. And what do you have in his heart? Murder. And Proverbs 8 verse 36, where God says that all they that hate me love death, that's Muhammad. Here is the next cartoon. Again, you have the pedo false prophet Muhammad with his little child bride holding her doll. Because there's actually a hadith that talks about that. Uh, and by the way, there's multiple hadith that mention the fact that Muhammad was, was with a child bride. And scholars themselves openly say this kind of stuff. So it's not some kind of thing, oh, you're just being hateful. No, this is in their own sources. Him and his little child bride. And this is Muhammad's uh, favorite wife, Aisha, age six. Because that, was, that wasn't even his only wife. He was a polygamist too, by the way. Had, there was times where he slept with like multiple women in a single night. Yeah, guy was a fornicating uh, veil worshiper. And this cartoon is accurate on that depiction as well. Here's the next cartoon, again, summarizing the fact that Muhammad was just a, you know, a, a fornicating, you know, essentially a lascivious person. Can't go too hard because the YouTube censors will come after me, the liberal, you know, so SJW woke liberal, you know, commie YouTube. It's a bunch of garbage. But uh, here you have, again, Muhammad with his little child bride. She's she basically he married her when he was six and consummated the marriage when he was when she was uh, nine. Yeah, that's their that's their prophet Muhammad right there, as shown in the, as accurately shown in this cartoon. Yeah, they call him the perfect man, the perfect model of conduct. So apparently pedophilia, incest, uh, polygamy, all this other, you know, incest with the cousins. I'll put it that way, with your first cousin. Uh, also, you know, uh, polygamy, you know, murdering, all this other stuff. That's kind of the perfect model of conduct you're supposed to follow. Yeah, and this final cartoon also perfectly sums up the fact that Muhammad was an agent of Satan. Plain and simple. Here you have him with his, you know, devil horns, you know, essentially just the devils coming out of him when you get down to it. It was another tool in Satan's Vatican toolbox to ensnare others into the ways of the heathen. And Muhammad with his devil-filled mind and his, you know, a bomb head, because again, he was a murderous, you know, murderous pedophile, uh, accurately summed up in this cartoon. He was of his father the devil, plain and simple. And I'm not holding back because, again, Elijah mocked the prophets of Baal. I'm mocking this false prophet Muhammad, who was, again, forming this modern-day Baal worship known as Islam. And again, by showing these cartoons, and you know that's also the final cartoon I'm going to show in this video, but um, by showing these cartoons, again, I'm not saying I endorse the artists of the cartoons. I'm just simply saying that the cartoon itself is, is portraying a message of truth about this false prophet who started this, essentially, he was an agent of the Vatican, you know, Satan's Vatican, Satan's Roman Catholic Church, to ensnare Arabs into another false religion. See, Islam is just repackaged paganism. And all, all the customs, you know, essentially he took the Old Testament and mixed it in with Arabic paganism. But that sums up the fact, these cartoons sum up the fact of how Muhammad uh, never really left his old ways, too. Never, never really left the Arabic pagan ways. Because that all that stuff, the pedophilia, all that other stuff, that was all being practiced in the pre-Islamic Arabic pagan world. And when Islam came on the scene, you know, Muhammad came on the scene, it just, you know, repackaged all that stuff. Got rid of the other gods, kept one of them. You know, his name was Allah. He was a moon deity, and Muhammad made him the god of Islam. I could say a whole lot more about this false prophet of Baal, but I, I could, you know, I'm probably going to get censored by YouTube if I do. So anyway, I wanted to show that stuff. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.